Chow, abstract visual artist here in Mississauga, and this is my studio. I've been chosen by Culture Mississauga to map out Mississauga visually. I have chosen to illustrate the Meadowvale area. I'm fairly excited for you to see my own viewpoint and how I can preserve this moment of time on canvas. My passion in creating abstract art began following my recovery from my concussion in 2014. I started painting to release a lot of emotions going on inside of me. Art helps process feelings. It reduces stress, anxiety, and depression. Art can be engaging and speak emotions some cannot express into words. The greatest benefit of painting and visual arts is having a healthy outlet to express your feelings and let go. I live at Wynwood Park at Britannia and Winston Churchill. I'm taking in my experiences of my daily walks and bike rides around Lake Aquitaine and Lake Wabucane. I'm someone who notices and appreciates the beauty of light hitting clouds a certain way, the shades of purple and lilac, and the shadows casted from trees in full bloom. We have a lot of arts, creative arts like yours. We did a project some years ago now, and we did a full program to get every single underpass painted with murals. Each one represents that area. So Wabakane and Aquitaine have a lot of geese and ducks and birds. I'm taking in this slice of moment in time, enjoying the colors, the shades, the hues, and capturing this part of Mississauga in my painting. I'm really excited to get started on this. I start by gathering all the images that I took along my walks and bike rides around Lake Aquitaine and Lake Wabukane Trail. I trace around the objects so I have something to work with. I rearranged all the shapes that I traced until there is a frame that I like. This will be the working image that I used for my painting. I then use the graphic I created on my tablet and trace it onto canvas in pencil. I chose to use blue paint to outline all the objects because this is in the City of Mississauga's logo. I use stencils, roller brushes, and foam stamps to create interesting textures on my painting. Here I'm using a squeegee to remove some paint, and I'm adding it to this part of the painting. I paint on bubble wrap with acrylic paint and stamp it on parts of my painting. Now time for the little details. I'm adding a little bit of pink here and a little bit of yellow here. For my big reveal, I'm sharing this with my city councillor in this area, Meadowvale, Pat Sato, who has seen me through the creation process for Maps of Mississauga Meadowvale Edition. I am so excited to finally show you my final piece. Oh, wow. Here it is. So now, now that I'm looking at it and I can see all of these parts of, uh, of the community that you've taken a little bit from everything and put it together, it's, it's absolutely stunning. And I love the colors. I think what stands out, of course, at the front of your of your art is are the two structures at the community center. The uh, the artwork in the front was there to encourage children to climb through, climb on, very interactive. I'm looking and I'm trying to see beyond the turtle. <laughs> Those turtles have been part of the Meadowvale Community Center for I don't know over 30 years. I think every child, even my kids that are in their late 30s now. They played on those turtles. Such an iconic part of our community. And I'm so pleased that you put it right in the front of your art. And, and I really love that you've taken, um, you obviously, you, you had some walks through the underpasses that, uh, that link our trails. And you've taken various aspects from the artwork that is on the walls of those underpasses and you've put them in your painting. Do you think this represents our Meadowvale community? I'm not even sure what words I can come up with to say how, how important this is to and how representative of our community. You know, you got the boxes. I, I didn't mention the boxes and banners program before, but you have those in your work as well. So it, it's little snippets of life in Meadowvale and little bits of the artwork that's throughout the community. And you've put it into one very beautiful painting here. I especially love that you've included the tree carvings. That was something that I'm trying to get more of around the community. What do you think about the final piece, Councillor Sato? I would like to congratulate you on the incredible talent you are showing. And, you know, you, you said that you use your art after you had your brain injury. You want it to 
express and, and release. And you've done that in your art, but you've done it in a way that has also brought our community and everything that's special about our, our community, you put it into this art. And you have done that and you've taken, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here and put it together. It's a type of painting where you could look at it 10 times and every time you see something new. And, and I think that's very special. So congratulations, you've done a really amazing job.